Hello everyone, you're welcome to IDC Learning Center YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be looking at Federal University of Technology over a photo, Mathematics Post UTME Past Questions and Answers. Without wasting time, let's go straight to the first question. Question 1. Simplify. I'm going to write this out. We have 16 divided by 81 to the power of minus 3 over 4. The first thing we need to do is to get rid of this minus here, the one I've ticked. So to get rid of the minus here, we need to just um, inverse what we have here. To do that, 18 goes up while 16 comes down, then the minus we go, we have 3 over 4, step 1. Step 2, remember the fourth law of indices. So 81 over 16 is same thing, the exponent is same thing as 1 over 4 times 3. 3 times 1 is 3, so you still get back 3 over 4. At this point, we look for the fourth root. 1 over 4 means the fourth root of 81 over 16. So we look for the fourth root of 81 over 16. Open and close bracket at 3. Okay, the fourth root of 81 is 3. Okay, because 3 times 3 times 3 in 4 places will give me 81. That is why my answer is 3. Okay, why the fourth root of 16 is 2. Again, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 in 4 places will give me 16. So my answer is 2. Okay, so I'm going to open and close bracket. Then we have 3 as the exponent, the Q. Now, the 3 there simply means that this 3, which is the fourth root of 81, you have to multiply it by itself 3 times. Why 2? You need to multiply it by itself 3 times as well. So 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So the right answer is 27 over 8, which is C. Question 2. If A... Okay, let's find X now. If A raised to power of N plus a raised to the power of minus n divided by 2 and y equal to a raised to the power of n minus a raised to the power of minus n divided by 2. What are we looking for? We are made to find s square minus y square okay um i'm sure you are quite familiar with this a square minus y square you know it's same thing as bracket x plus y close bracket bracket x minus y so the first thing we need to do What we have here, bracket a raised to the power of n plus a raised to the power of minus n divided by 2. The first one you do plus, plus the y. Look at the y here, which is a raised to the power of n minus a raised to the power of minus n divided by 2. Okay? Then in bracket, the second step you have a remember is twice. Okay, you do for plus, which is this a x plus y. I've done this is x and this is y. I've done x plus y. Then we have to do x minus y, the second one. So the x is a raised to the power of n plus a raised to the power of minus n. Okay, this minus n divided by 2 minus 
a raised to the power of n minus a raised to the power of minus n divided by 2. I did minus this time around. Okay. Now, you know that a n plus a n, since the denominator, first thing first, since the denominators here are the same, 2 and 2, pick 1. So, a n plus a n will give me 2 a n. Okay, let me write it properly. Again, since the denominators are the same, you pick 1. a n, this, plus a n will give me 2 a n. All right? Now, here, plus a minus n, that's this. Minus a minus n will give me 0. That's this cancels this. All right? Now, look at the bracket, which means they are multiplying. At the second bracket, the de denominators are the same as well. I'll pick one. So, a n, this minus a n, this and this we cancel. But minus times minus is plus. So plus a minus n plus a minus n will give me minus. Sorry, minus times minus this becomes positive. Plus a minus n plus a minus n will give me 2a minus n. Okay. So, this 2 cancels this 2. This 2 cancels this 2. Alright? So, I'll be left with a raised to the power of n times... Now, a minus n, like this, what we have here, let me circle it. a minus n is same thing as 1 using the first law of indices, 1 minus... Sorry, uh, the third law of indices are there about 1 minus a raised to the power of n. Okay, so this is same thing as over 1. This cancels this. Yeah, 1, yeah, 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So the answer is 1, which is C. Now let's look at question 3. Question 3 says, What is the remainder? When 4s cubed minus 5s squared plus 6x minus 2 is divided by bracket x minus 1 close bracket. According to the remainder theory, when f of x is divided by x minus 1, remainder equal to f for f of 1. So we are solving for let s be 1, right? Good. So since Based on what we are dividing with, all we need to do, wherever, since x is 1, wherever we have x, replace it with 1. That's all. Wherever there's one x, replace it with 1. So for the first one, we have 4 bracket 1 raised to the power of 3 minus 5 bracket 1 raised to the power of 2 plus 6 bracket 1. That's all. Then minus 2. So, 1 times 1 times 1 in 3 places will give you 1. 4 times 1 is 4. Minus 5 times 1 times 1 is 1. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 6 minus 2. We get this back. So, we are going to do use board maths. We arrange this to solve for the positive numbers. Right? So, 4 plus 6 is positive. Minus 5 minus 2. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 minus 5 minus 2. 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. So the remainder is 3, which is C. Okay, question 4. If A equal to 2 plus root 3, okay, find the value of A minus 1 over A. Now, if A, let me divide this board into two. If A equal to 2 plus root 3, find A minus 1 over A. In this question, 
we already know the value of a. a is 2 plus root 3. So we need to find the value of 1 over a. This, we don't know the value of 1 over a. So 1 over a equal to 1 over, what is a? a is 2 plus root 3 according to the question. Okay, let me wipe this off. That's a. Now, we need to rationalize what we have. To do that, we multiply the numerator and denominator by 2 minus root 3. That's rationalizing this. Divide by 2 minus root 3. Right? Okay. Now we've done that. So, 1 over a equals to 1 times this. We have 2 minus root 3 as a numerator. If you multiply by 1, you get back that same term. For the denominator, 2 times 2 is um, 4. 4 minus um, plus root 3 minus root 3 will give you 3. Okay? So, that's all. This will give me... Um, 4 minus 3 is 1, so my answer will be 2 minus root 3 over 1, which is same thing as 2 minus root 3. So now I have gotten 1 over a, okay? That's what it means. So we can now solve for a minus 1 over a equal to a again is 2 plus root 3. Okay, minus 1 over a is 2 minus root 3. Okay, take note of this. So from this point, uh, we have 2, let me write this, 2 plus root 3, right? Minus times plus 2, 2 is positive, we give me minus 2. Minus times minus root 3 will give me plus root 3. This 2 is positive. It cancels the negative 2. So we have root 3 plus root 3, which will give me 2 root 3 as the answer. So the right answer is D, 2 root 3. Let's look at the fifth question. The question says... The second and fifth terms of a geometric progression are 24 and 81 respectively. Find the common ratio. Uh, you know, for geometric progression, to find the nth term, the nth term equal to um, a r n minus 1. Okay? The second term will be a2, we are looking for the second term now, okay, a r, second term, n will be 2 minus 1, which is 1, so it's same thing I just seen a r, equal to, in the question, it was given as 24, this will be 24, why the fifth term will be a r n is 5 when n is 5 5 minus 1 this will be 4 equal to 81 remember we are looking for the common ratio the r so we need to make the r stand on its own okay so let's compare the ratios this will give me a r the ratio over that's the second term and then over the fifth term a raised power 4 for the second term we have 24 the fifth term we have 81 the first term cancels each other area 1 area r raised power 3 so this will give us 1 over r raised power 3 equal to 24 over 81 now cross multiply 
it's 1 times 1, r raised power 3 times 24 will give you r raised power 3 times 24 equal to it's 1 times 1 into 1. Divide both sides by 24. Divide this side by 24. 24 cancels 24. r raised power 3. What can go into 81 and 24? 3 can. 3 into 81. 3 into 8 is 2. Remember 2. So that's 27. 3 into 24 is 8. Arrow 3 equal to 27 over 8. To get the common ratio R, you look for the cube root of both sides. Look for the cube root of this side. This cube breaks this cube root. So R equal to cube root of 27 is 3. Cube root of 8 is 2. So the final answer is 3 over 2, which is B. Okay. Let's look at question 6. A family of five is to sit round a dining table. In how many different ways possible can they sit? A. 12. B. 16. C. 24. D. 8. E. 14. For a circular formula, we are going to use this. N minus 1 factorial divided by 2. N is 5. The family is 5. So replace n with 5, we have 5 minus 1 divided by 2 is factorial. 5 minus 1 is 4. So 4 factorial divided by 2. 4 factorial means 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Divide this by 2, right? 2 here, 1, 2 can cancel 2. 4 times 3, 12. 12 times 1, 12. So the right answer is A. All right, let's look at question seven. Question seven says, an article bought, bought for eight naira 75 kobo was sold for six naira 65 kobo. What is the percentage loss? For the selling price to be less than the cost price, there was definitely a loss. So the first thing we need to do is to get the loss. To get the loss, you do 8.75, the cost price minus the selling price will give you the loss, which is 6.65. Now, to express as a percentage, formula for calculating loss is a uh, percentage loss is loss over cost price times 100%. Okay, so um, 8.75 minus 6.65 will give us a loss. You divide by the cost price, which is 8.75. Now, times 100% or times 100 over 1. So, if you divide what we have here, 8.75 minus 6.65, divide by 8.75, you can punch it into your calculator to give you 0 0.24. Now, multiply by 100, your answer will be 24%. The right answer is D. Question 8. The percentage score of 10 students in a test are 12, 56, 42, 21, 25, 18, 10, 53, 42, 24. What is the median score? Step 1, we need to rearrange the scores. It's either we rearrange from the highest to the lowest or lowest to the highest. The median is simply the middle number. So I'm going to rearrange, like to arrange from the smallest to the biggest. This will give me 10, 12, 18, 21, 24, 25, 42, 42, 53, and 56. Let's look for the middle number. Let's count from left. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Count from Right one, two, three, four, five. So the middle number here will be 24 and 25. Since we have two numbers as a middle number, we sum them up and divide by two. If it's one number, that number would have been the answer. 24 plus 25 will give us 49. 49 divided by two will be 24.5. So the right answer is E. Question 9. 
This question says two n plus one minus two n minus one divide by two n plus one minus two n. All right, this is same thing as um for the numerator, you know, this is same thing as two n times. 2 raised to the power 1. I'm sure you know that. So I can actually bring out um, both of them. I have 2n outside the bracket. Then this plus 1 is the same thing as 2 since it's base 2. It has to be you have 2 raised to, to the power of 1. Minus this minus 1 will be 2 raised to the power of minus 1 since we are operating on base 2. So the exponent, there must be a 2 carrying it. Divide by the denominator, 2 raised to the power of n, um, picking this and this. But there is a power here, plus 1. So in a bracket, it will be 2 raised to the power of 1 minus. But since there is no um, power here or exponent here, there is nothing there. It will just be, you replace this with 1, not 2. So this will be 1. Okay, so let me use a dotted line to separate this. Okay, at this junction, these two cancels this two. Take note. Then these two for the numerator minus two raised to the, to the power of minus one is same thing as one over two. Divide by two minus one for the denominator will give me one, which is nothing. So this same thing as two minus one over two. Okay, so this over 1, the LCM will give us, LCM of the denominator 1 and 2 is 2. 1 into 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 2 divided by 2 is 1. Use this 2 to divide the denominator, 1 times 1 is 1, so final answer is 3 over 2. So the right answer is D. Question 10. Find the value of x if 3 brackets 2 raised to the power of x equal to 24. We are solving for x. The first thing we need to eliminate 3 and look for how x can, 2x can stand on its own. So 3 cancel 3. 3 into 24 is 8. So we have 2 raised to the power of x equal to 8. Now we must express 8 to base 2. So 2 raised to the power x will give me since 2 times 2 times 2 will give me 8. Then this will be 2 raised to the power of 3. So um, if we equate or divide through by 2, okay, x will be 3. The right answer will be E. Question 11. For question 11, Find the value of k if the remainder when if the remainder when 3x cubed plus k s cubed square minus 3x plus 12 is divided by x minus 2 is 16. So using x equal to 2 in the function results in 16 since the polynomial divided by x minus 2 results in a remainder of 16. So here we'll have 3 bracket replace x with 2. 2 cubed plus k replace x with 2. 2 square minus 11 replace x with 2. 2 plus 12 equal to, in the question they said the answer is 16. So, 2 cubed is um, 2 times 2 times 2 in 3 places, which is 8. 8 times 3, 24. Plus 2 raised to the power 2 is 2 times 2, 4. We have 4k. Because of the 4 times k is 4k minus 11 times 2, 22. Plus 12 equals to 16. Alright, so 4k, that's what we are looking for. 24 minus 12 is 2. 
2 plus 12 is 14 plus 14 equal to 16. Collect like times 4 key. Move plus 14 to the right hand side. It will change to negative. You have 16 minus 14 coming here. We give me my uh, plus 14 going there. We give me minus 14. Okay, so we have 4 key equal to 16 minus 14 2. To get key, divide both sides by 4. 4 cancel 4, 2 year 1, 2 year 2. My answer will be 1 over 2 half. So the right answer is B, 1 over 2. Question 12. If A. Alright, let's look at question 12. This question says, simplify 2 whole number 4 over 5 times 1 whole number 1 over 7, divide by 3 whole number 1 over 9, divide by 3 whole number 3 over 5. So, step 1, we need to convert everything you can see here to improper fractions. Let's start with the numerator. So, 5 times 2, we give us 10, plus 4, we have 14 over 5, times 7 times 1, 7 plus 1, 8 over 7. Let's go to the denominator. 9 times 3, 27 plus 1, 28 over 9. 5 times 3, 15 plus 3, 18 over 5. Step 2, we need to move these to the numerator. To do that, we need to flip. Okay, so this will give me 14 over 5 times 8 over 7. As this comes move upwards, you flip. The 5 will come up, the 8 will go down. Then you divide by 28 over 9. 5 year 1, 5 year 1. 8 year 1, 8 year 1. 7 year 1, 7 into 14 is 2. Okay? Sorry, hold on, I'm going to take this part again. Okay, I think there's a slight mistake here. Now, as this move up, okay, I'm meant to have 14 over 5 times 8 over 7. Again, I said flip. So, 5 we come up, then the 18 we come down. You divide by 28 over 9. Okay, so 5 year 1, 5 year 1. Um, 2 year 4, 2 into 18, 9. Now we are doing the right thing. 7 year 1, 7 into 14 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. We have 8 over 9, like this 9. Divide by 28 over 9, that's the denominator. Now, we use KCF, keep the first fraction, change the division, keep change flip, change the division to times and flip the next fraction. 9 will go up, 28 will come down. You do that for division. 9 year 1, 9 year 1. 2 year 4, 2 year 14. 4 divided by 2, 2. 4, 2 into 14 is 7. So the right answer is 2 over 7, which is E. Let's look at question 13. This question says, How much will 200,000 amount to at 12% simple interest over 4 years? The formula for calculating amount is principal plus simple interest. In this question, the principal has been given as 200,000, but the simple interest was not given. So let's calculate this for the simple interest. Simple interest is principal times rate times time over 100. So the simple interest equals to the principal, which is 200,000 times the rate, which is 12%, times the time, which is 4, divide through by 100. 100 has two zeros. These two zeros cancels these two zeros. You have 2,000 left. 
2000 times 12 times 4 will give us 96,000. Okay, remember what I said earlier. I said amount is principal plus simple interest. Okay, so let me solve it here. The amount will be the principal, which is 200,000 plus the simple interest, which is 96,000. So the final answer will be 296,000 Naira. The right answer is B. Question 14. This question says, find the arithmetic mean of 8, 3, 5, 12, and 10. To find mean, all you need to do is to sum up all the numbers and divide by how many they are. So I'm summing up all the numbers. Now let's find out how many they are. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sum up and divide by 5. If we sum up all the numbers, we are going to get 38. Now let's divide 38 by 5. It will give me 7.6. So the right answer is C. Question 15. Let's simplify this. We have root 48. Let's break it down into um, a base of 3. So we are going to have 16 times 3 will give us 48 plus 75. 25 times 3 will give us 75 minus 81 times 3 will give us 243. I want you to know that for the first one, the square root affects all <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, excuse me. The square root affects everything. So this same thing as seeing root 16 times root 3 plus root 25 times root 3 minus root 81 times root 3. Root 16 will give me 4. 4 root 3 plus root 25 will give me 5. 5 root 3 minus root 81 will give me 9. 9 root 3. 4 root 3 plus 5 root 3 will give me 9 root 3 minus 9 root 3. The answer is zero. So the right answer is A. Let's look at question 16. Find the value of values of x equal to 2x squared plus 2x equal to 4. Step 1, 2x squared plus 2x. We must equate 4 to the base of 2. It will give me 2 raised power 2. That's 2 times 2, 4. Step 2, we need to, equating powers, we have, okay, we eliminate the base, like the 2's, so we we'll be left with x squared plus x equal to 2. It has given me a quadratic equation, so let's move 2 to the left-hand side. Alright, this will give me x squared plus x minus 2 equal to 0. Okay, so we multiply the first and the last term to give me minus 2x squared. So let's think of factors of minus 2x squared that if we add them together, we get plus x. But if we multiply them together, it will give us minus 2x squared. What I can think of is minus x plus 2x. Minus x plus 2x will give me x. Then minus x times 2x will give me minus 2x squared. So I'm going to replace plus x with that factors. So x squared minus x plus 2x minus 2 equal to 0. Now let's group them. I can bring out x from here. I'll be left with x minus 1. I can bring out plus 2 here. I'll be left with x minus 1 equal to 0. 
So and if you use what I brought out to multiply words inside the bracket, you get everything that is here. So this x put it in a bracket plus the 2 that is also outside the bracket. Since the terms inside the bracket are the same, pick one x minus 1 equal to 0. So x plus 2 equal to 0, x equal to move 2 to meet 0, it will change to minus 2. Then x minus 1, move minus 1 across, it will be x equal to 1. So the answer is 1 or minus 2. Thank you for staying with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Practice this as much as you can. Don't go anywhere. I will be dropping a lot of content that will definitely help you pass your post-UTME. Physics, chemistry, biology are on their way. And then for those of you that are in various institutions, just make your request. A lot of content are coming for UI, UNISIC, UNN. For I've already gotten requests for those schools. For now, I'm going to say bye.